Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you about this lovely Mercedes CLK. We've actually got a number of CLKs in stock at the moment. I believe we've got about six cars. This particular car is a very late 2006. In fact, it's a December 2006 MY07 CLK2 80 avant-garde. Although it's called a 280, it's got the new 3-litre V6 engine with 170 kilowatts. And it's got many options. Bluetooth capability, navigation, memory electric driver's seat, and Xenon headlights. It's also got beautiful soft leather. I think the memory seat is important because for, for me and my, my wife, she drives in a totally different driving position to me. In fact, if she's driven the car, I can't even get my leg in. Um, so I think it's great um, for me to be able to press a button and adjust the mirrors in the seat. So much easier than with just manual adjustments. It's done 109,000 kilometres. It's got a very good service history to it and two remote keys. The condition of this car is excellent. We sold it to the previous owner. It's got a very nice set of Pirelli tyres all round and it's Zircon silver with black leather interior as you can see and a black roof. So it's nice and easy to keep clean. A couple of years before there was the same shape CLK320 and because it says 320 on the back of it instead of 280, you'd assume that it's got more power. Well the 320 is actually a much older engine which came out in the mid 90s and it's got about 160 kilowatts whereas this 3 litre engine has 170 kilowatts and it's also got a 7 speed transmission as opposed to a 5 speed so it's faster and you get better fuel economy. It's got parking sensors the paint is spotless, the wheels are very good, it's even got heated seats. But the best thing about this convertible is probably interior condition because a lot of people buy them, they park them in the sun with the roof off and it destroys the interior. This is not one of those cars. You can see the leather's beautiful, nice and supple. And it's obviously a car that has been very well looked after. It's done 109,000 kilometres, the last major service was at about 105,000 kilometres and uh, the most recent servicing looked like it's been done between five and, uh, and 10,000 kilometre intervals. Xenon lights makes a big difference. I mean, even if you buy a CLK 500, you don't get Xenon lights. It's an option, and they just look so much better, especially on a late model car. But I think for around $25,000, to be able to buy an economical, safe, reliable, Mercedes four-seater convertible is outstanding. And this is an avant-garde. It's got what I think is probably the best looking wheel on the CLK series. And just looks absolutely beautiful from every angle. We've actually got one at the back, which is a 2005 CLK 350, and that's done 190,000 kilometers. It's got an electric roof, which I'll open up for you now. So two remote keys, automatic headlights, cruise control, speed limiter. So we start it up, check when the next service is. 9,300 kilometers, it's only in A service due next. There's your navigation, just loading up. Heated seats, that's navigation there. You can see, you know, just in such good condition. Even when you look at the switches, it's very, very good. We'll take the roof off. Click of a switch. All right, there goes the roof. Spin around. So 
done. It's got nice soft pleated leather on the doors as well, which is very nice. The driver's seat's excellent. I mean, you'd assume someone with jeans would have gotten out of this car at some stage, and that's just, it's just very nice and soft. Much better leather than the earlier models. The back seats are excellent. The other thing with convertibles is obviously, you know, it's probably pretty sensible to put a lot, lot of sunscreen on, but a lot of people blaster the sunscreen on while they're in the car and they touch everything, and it's very hard to get it off. And see it's got this hard top here, it's not like the old convertibles where you've just got the soft top sitting in the back, it looks a lot better. It's probably now more similar to that of a Mercedes SL. But if you're looking for a CLK convertible in particularly good condition, then I think you should definitely have a look at this car. So as I said, a lot of them unfortunately haven't been very well looked after, which is a real shame. We always try to buy the best cars we can at the time. And the reason why we have a number of CLKs at the moment is not because we love CLKs, although we do and they are very reliable for us, but if we're offered a really good car, we're not going to say no just because we've got a few of them. If they're all good cars, we'll buy all of them. But it's very impressive. I've driven it. It's beautiful to drive. And the fuel consumption, I think at the moment it's sitting on 11.9 or something similar to that, which is incredible. And the resale on any Mercedes convertible once it gets to this age is always good. And I think being an avant-garde, update, the newer engine, the newer gearbox, sent on lights, all the gear, it's certainly the car to buy if you are looking for a convertible. Thank you so much for taking the time. If you have any questions, please give us a call. You can speak to myself. My name is Philip. And the number's 9569 and obviously the area code in Sydney is 02. Thanks again for watching.